Tablets have yet to make themselves essential, but that doesn't mean they aren't nice to have around. A good tablet can be a portable TV screen around the house or a great way to enjoy apps and games on the go. In tablets there are three main categories on basis of operating system it is running. 1. Android tablets. 2. Windows tablets. 3. iPad. There will be mainly three purpose to buy tablet. 1. Media consumption. It includes watching web series, movies, or browsing internet and replying emails. 2. Gaming. 3. Study purpose. Reading ebook taking notes solving papers. Reasons to get a tablet. 1. They're so light and portable. Whether you like getting work done or getting entertained on the go, tablets offer one clear advantage, they're portable. Tablets are often about one-third the weight of a standard laptop, so the physical strain of carrying a lightweight tablet is far less. Meanwhile, the typical screen size on a tablet is around 7 to 10 inches, which means they easily fit into most backpacks, carry bags, or briefcases. This makes tablets a great asset for students, travelers, commuters, and professionals who have to travel a lot on business. 2. A tablet is more affordable than a laptop. These days it seems like having a home computer is compulsory. But actually, if you're only using your computer for light web browsing, some email, Facebook and Netflix, a tablet might do just as well. Tablet prices typically range from $100 to $1,000, whereas you're looking at between $400 and $3,000 for a laptop. So depending on what you want to use it for, a tablet web browsing, especially when you're away from your desk. A good example would be looking up a recipe for a meal. Set up the tablet in the kitchen, find a recipe online, and get cooking. Reasons not to get a tablet 1. Tablets tend to lack ports. Many tablet computers do not contain basic ports such as USB or HDMI which means you can't use a cable to connect your tablet to another PC or TV. Flash memory ports have become commonplace in laptop computers but are generally not included on tablets, meaning you can't place the memory card from your digital camera directly into the tablet. Two. Low processor speeds for work. Although tablet devices can be very helpful for making presentations, they do have processor speed limitations when compared to laptop computers. Processor intense activities such as rendering video, using complex spreadsheets, or image editing are not suited to tablets. 3. Less portable than a mobile phone. Although portability is often highlighted as a positive feature of tablets when compared to laptop computers, the opposite can also be said, tablets are far bulkier units than everyday smartphones which can fit easily in your pocket. If you're looking for something super portable but want the tablet advantage of a bigger screen, you might consider compromising and getting a Fabolt. These are plus-sized smartphones like the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and iPhone 11 Pro Max. The main verdict. When it comes to computing, we're all spoiled for choice. Though desktop and laptop computers are still extremely popular, there are dozens of everyday situations where a smartphone or tablet is the best solution. They're fun, easy to use devices best suited to web browsing and apps. The key question to keep in mind when considering a tablet purchase is, what do you want to do on the device? If you just want to browse online, use social networks, read books, view images, or use apps, then a tablet may be well suited to your needs. If you require the ability to type a lot of text or perform more complex computer functions then you will need to consider the benefits of a laptop computer.